Hi, my name is Dr. Mike. I'm a board certified medical doctor and I've been treating patients for the past 10 years. Actually, I'm a less jack version of this guy. And also, since my boss may see this video, I'm not allowed to use as many dirty jokes as he does. Or I will get in trouble again. I thought for today, why not talk about Tren, short for Trembolone. Actually, this is a vial of a painkiller I stole from the hospital. For those of you who have never seen Tren in person, Tren is a yellow oily substance. Something to keep in mind for your next encounter with your underground dealer in the gym. Before we start, let me add that this video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice in any way. I have not taken Tren and I don't plan on taking it. The reason is that I'm already a very impatient person. Like when I'm standing in line at the checkout and somebody's taking their sweet as time packing everything meticulously into the shopping bag. During these moments, on the inside, I look like the guy, the red guy from the movie Inside Out. Who's actually my favorite character from the whole movie. I mean, he seems like a very reasonable and likable guy. On trend, I would turn to him and I would want to kill that person in front of me, slow and painfully. After this long-winded introduction, let's talk about Tren. Tren, some may argue, is the strongest anabolic steroid. Originally, Tren was used by veterinarians to increase muscle growth in livestock. This is typically done during finishing months to maximize growth as it is a sign of great pride for cattle farmers to have their cattle as jacked as possible. Which leads to creations like this. No, actually they give Tren to yield more meat before slaughter, so you can stuff your fatty ass. To this day, Trembolone is used in cattle in the USA, whereas in the European Union it is banned. The reason is that European farmers were too intimidated by the jack cattle. Tren is injected into the muscle. You can't take it by mouth because your liver will render it ineffective before it reaches your muscles. Tren binds very strongly to your androgen receptors, which means that even in lower doses it produces significant effects compared to other anabolic steroids. What can you expect from Tren? The answer is absurd amounts of muscle. Up to 10 kilograms, around 22 pounds of lean, hard muscle during a typical cycle which lasts 6 to 8 weeks. You will achieve that full, veiny and hard look that many people desire. And these changes happen fast. You can basically watch yourself grow day by day in the mirror. Don't you want to wake up one day and see the Hulk staring bad at you just with your face in it? Let's look at some before and after pictures of some trend users I found on the internet. On the left you see the before, on the right you see the after picture. I mean he gained some noticeable size on his arms, his chest, his delts. But other than that you gotta ask yourself, would it be worth it to hop on trend just to get this maybe 2-3 kilograms of muscle? I don't think so. The next picture is much more impressive. I mean look at the roundness of his delts, his traps, his chest. I mean he even has veins on his chest. That's crazy. Very impressive. Before and after, I mean, she really gained some size on her thighs and some definition on her stomach and thighs. Very good. And according to her posts, she was on a very low dose of trend acetate, 35 milligrams per week, which is super low. Most guys do like 200 to 400, so around 10 times as much. Almost unbelievable that she took that little, but I mean, this is from Reddit, and if you can't trust Reddit, what else is there? The beauty of Tren is also that it doesn't aromatize, so you don't have any conversion of, of, the, of the compound to estrogen, and thereby none of the typical side effects of having eye estrogen, like uh, water retention, uh, gynecomastia, etc. You may also expect increases in strength. Let's say you currently bench two plates on each side for five reps, meaning around 100 kilograms or 225 pounds. After running 400 milligrams of Tren each week for a full cycle of six to eight weeks with proper diet, rest and benching two to three times a week, you may expect your five rep max to shoot up to 140 kilograms, so 40% or 315 pounds. Good luck doing that naturally. Actually, those gains happen so fast that you are seriously at risk at injuring your tendons because you don't or they don't grow as fast as your muscles. 
I have friends who physically had the strength to do a heavy lift but their chest muscle or chest muscle tendon wasn't used to the load so it snapped. He had to have surgery and his chest never looked the same. Compared to other anabolic steroids like Anadrol or Vinstrol, Trembolone probably has the strongest strength building effect. Now that we talked about how Tren will turn you into the Hulk, let's talk about the side effects. First one would be neurotoxicity, meaning damage to your brain and nerves. There's a pretty recent study on trend users with the telling title, my mind pretty much went to mush. You will lose some IQ points, at least while being on a cycle. Also, some people were experiencing extreme range on trend, the so-called roid rage. To paint a clearer picture, I will read out some Reddit posts, as these are very entertaining to read, and will make it easy for you to enter the trend mind. But when running trend, I become incredibly mean and aggressive in my head. I want to kill people in traffic and punch people who stare at me or unexpectedly touch me, while well, normally this does not bother me at all. I also really hate fat people while on trend. Well, you would be naive to expect anything less from a compound that strongly stimulates your androgen receptors. All kinds of aggression and short-temperedness might be expected. If you don't believe me, let's listen to one of my favorite YouTubers right now, Dr. Mike. Aware of the dark side of anabolic use. What is that? <laughs> How long do you have anxiety like you would not believe? Every day that I'm on high doses, I wake up in the morning afraid of the rest of my day. Intrusive thoughts. Mm -hmm. I think about violence all the time. Well, if your testosterone is 25 times what it's supposed to be, what the hell do you think it's going to make you think about? Another one is a marked proximate reduction of IQ. Like right now, as I talk to you, I'm on contest prep. I'm on a considerable dose of anabolics. I'm not as smart right now, and I can feel it. It's this fog, an inability to perceive a broad spectrum of positive human emotion. I live in a really beautiful area in Michigan, and I walk out, and there's this pond and these trees, and I know that I like looking at them, but it's a memory to me. I go work out every morning, and I look at the pond and the trees, and I'm like, mm, like all I feel is rage and frustration and anger and anxiety. That's my daily life. If you start out with a short fuse, problems with controlling your temper and little patience, trend will make this go through the roof. You might end up in jail for beating up someone like me, who accidentally bumped into you in the gym. If you already suffer from a mild degree of anxiety, you will definitely experience more of this on trend. All these changes are due to physical changes in your brain structure and changes in your brain chemistry. Oh, and I forgot. If you have a genetic predisposition for hair loss, you will also start losing or shedding some of your hair. You will look like me after I caught COVID, like a shaved monkey. After I got COVID, three months later, I started losing my hair. I didn't know what was going on and I didn't associate it with the infection and if it was going to grow back. So I wanted to be practical and not like, don't look like Prince Williams and shaved it all off to look more like the bros. I thought it was going to help me bench as much as my friends. Clearly it didn't. But it clearly helped me lose my girlfriend because she wasn't going to date a shaved monkey. And now I was a shaved monkey with a triple X package of unused condoms. Whether your hair comes back after the trend cycle depends on your genetics. Next. If you want to have the worst sleep of your life, also called Transomnia by the boys, I highly recommend Trembolone. Let's see what Reddit has to say about this. Yeah, sleeping pretty much sucks on trend. I used to wake up to piss about five to six times a night and what makes it worse is waking up in a pool of sweat. A serious pool of sweat. I think I found a picture of this on Reddit. It is like he put a rock into bed while he's still working out and cover him with sheets. So what do people do to combat this? The most obvious, hypnotics, of which I've been addicted to for years. I think Jordan Peterson can say a thing or two about this. So, beware that when you start trend your quality of life during the day might deteriorate. Now add the trend induce aggressiveness, the short temper to the insomnia and you got a cocktail of disaster. A jack disaster, I have to admit. Trend interferes with your deep sleep, which is essential to clear your brain of metabolic waste that builds up throughout the day. 
In the long term, your body's ability to recover is deeply impaired and you have a buildup of something called the beta amyloid plaque, which is linked to Alzheimer's disease. Does it mean TREM may cause Alzheimer's? We don't know. But all neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's are characterized by low quality sleep. And you want to do everything to improve your quality of sleep. Like watching this video later. Shameless plug. Next up are your lungs. There's something called or called among the bodybuilding community the trend cuff. This refers to gasping for air followed by an uncontrollable burst of coughing after injecting the compound, making speaking or breathing almost impossible. It does in fact feel like you're dying and it makes it seem like you question why the fuck you're doing it. One thing I would advise too is like rotate a lot if you're using Trenace because I don't know what it is, but it's areas that are more commonly abused and areas with more scar tissue that seem to be more prone to getting it and also pin slow. The faster you go, for some reason, the more like drastic it seems to occur. Basically what happens is you feel like the buildup in your lungs and it's almost like you know, toxic fucking air is in your lungs all of a sudden, it's getting more and more and it's building up. You can stand there and just, you know, stand there and take it, but you're just gonna end up coughing up a lung. And for me, <laughs> I would usually like brace myself on a wall. Like I put my like arm up on like a wall and just be like, all right, let's fucking go. Or you put your hands on the sink and you just brace yourself, not like, not brace yourself for like impact, but it's just like, here we go. And <laughs> you, you just know what's coming. And that's the best way to describe it. It's just like you have this toxic buildup in your lungs and you just know you're gonna be hacking up a fucking lung for about two minutes. Next to your lungs, we have your heart. Do I need to say anything else? I quote, after obtaining the accurate history of the patient, it was elucidated that he has been using trembolon acetate in his daily diet since last year. It seems it was, or he was admitted to the hospital with signs of a myocardial infarction, so a heart attack. And, a perform and upon a performing an angiogram, meaning putting IV contrast in his blood vessels and using x-ray to visualize them, you can see at the top arrow that there's a narrowing um, of his coronary arteries, probably due to a buildup of plaque in a 23-year-old. The doctors place a stent into this tiny vessel to treat it. Usually they do this in patients in their 60s or 70s. Most guys on steroids are just too careless. They think they're young, they're inv invincible. However, being on steroids makes your body age much faster. We experience more wear and tear, similar to driving a car every day at 200 miles an hour. That's why being on gear you need to be or you need to go to your, do your routine maintenance more frequently, like getting an oil change every 10,000 instead of every 5,000 miles. Just to be sure everything is where it should be. Kidneys and liver. Trend puts some stress on these organs, but they are far more toxic substances than trend when it comes to liver or kidney health. For some people, depending on the dose and the individual health of the organs, trend might be strainful while using it. To underscore how each person is different, there's a case report of an amateur bodybuilder developing hepatitis, so an inflammation of his liver, with his liver enzymes skyrocketing along with his cholesterol levels due to trembolone use. He even experienced jaundice, the typical yellow discoloration of your skin, starting with the eyes, which is a sign of liver failure. That's why every patient I see, I take a deep look into his eyes not only to make him feel uncomfortable, I think the other doctor might would add into this version, his version of the video that he would start rubbing the patient's thighs to make his intention as clear as possible, but this Dr. Mike, who's obviously a perf. As always with these case reports, we don't know if Tren alone caused this. He might have been using other substances that he didn't disclose to the doctors. If there's one thing I learned from watching House MD, it is that patients lie and breaking into patients' homes has legal repercussions. My trial is due next week. Also, before I forget, Trend may turn your urine into a rusty colored liquid, so it might be wise to check your kidney values. Now, we come to the most interesting part of Trend, as we delve into the groin area. I'll read out some of the Reddit comments and let you guys figure it out what I'm talking about. It's more fun this way. When I'm on trend, I will consume hours of porn a day. I think about sex all day. 
I can bang my wife 10 times a day if she would let me. During high trend doses, my wife makes me sleep on the couch most nights because I will start banging her through the night over and over again. I also become very kinky. I think his trend use put quite a strain on his marriage. This combined with the aggression and the low patience got tremble on the infamous name of the relationship destroyer. The female whose confirmation on trend I showed earlier added these juicy comments. Insane libido. I know I listed it as a positive, but it's also a negative. It leads to very questionable decisions and behavior. And why having a swollen clit and being wet and stiff nippled all the time, which is awesome. It's also really distracting. I leave it up to your imagination what those very questionable decisions might include. Actually, for you Marvel geeks out there, when you think about the Hulk, he's the perfect impersonation of Tren. You have insane amounts of muscle and strength. At the same time, he isn't exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer with a very limited vocabulary and insane amounts of aggression that keeps growing. And well, his catchphrase is Hulk smash because I will start banging her through the night. Do I need to say more? So what can we do to mitigate all these risks? Firstly, I would seriously reconsider your plan to hop on gear, especially trend in the first place. I recommend at least 10 years of natural training to see if what you can achieve from your natural potential and allow your brain to mature. If I think back to 23 year old Michael, he was just too dumb and immature to make any informed decision about anabolic steroids at that age. Also, see if you can, for, see if you can afford it financially. You will need money not only for the steroids, but also for the labs to check your blood markers. And this quickly adds up. Secondly, I would only hop on trend if you are a professional bodybuilder and I would take trend just a few months away from a show. Otherwise, I don't think trend is worth the side effects. Also keep in mind, you never run trend alone. You need to have a base with testosterone and afterwards run a post-cycle therapy. If you hop on trend or generally any anabolic steroid, make sure to check at least the following. Check your blood pressure at least once a week while on a cycle. If it goes above 140 over 90, start blood pressure lowering medication after consulting your GP. You just don't want to have a heart attack on a treadmill, fall over and die, forcing me to run over and start CPR on your sorry ass. Check the following blood markers at least twice a year. A complete blood count. Check your hematocrit, meaning your hemoglobin levels. If it starts going too high, you need to lower it, otherwise you will chronically increase your blood pressure, predisposing you from everything, from a stroke to a heart attack to kidney damage. And also, please, don't donate blood in this situation. The Red Cross doesn't need your blood with tren in it. What you will need is a therapeutic phlebotomy. Next would be liver function tests, meaning GGT, ALT and AP. With AST, you got to be a bit careful. It might be falsely elevated due to exercise. Kidney function, preferably with cystatin C. Oh, and lipids. This is a biggie. After prolonged steroid use, your lipids may be all over the place. And it might be time to reduce the gear or, depending on the numbers, start lipid lowering medications. Test total cholesterol, HDL, LDL, triglycerides, and ApoB. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.